Electronic gadgets, they are everywhere and we seem to be surrounded by them. In fact, I'm using one to record this video. I'm using another one to find out the what is the ambient lighting conditions. Yet another one I'm using to control the temperature of this room. In fact, there is no aspect of human life that is untouched by these electronic gadgets. Whether we are at home or we are at the workplace or with we in the banks, hospitals, at the supermarkets, whether we are talking about defense and space, all these aspects of human life use electronic gadgets. Many of these gadgets are standalone devices, but increasingly such gadgets are being connected to the internet and such gadgets are called IoT enabled gadgets and they offer some advantage and better functionality. Nevertheless, given such ubiquity of electronic gadgets, I'm sure you will agree that knowing how to design such gadgets would be a great skill that would lead to a successful career even in the startup ecosystem. What you need is an online course that teaches you all the details and intricacies of the design of such electronic gadgets. I am Dhananjay Gadre. I teach at the Netaji Subhas University of Technology here in Dwarka, New Delhi. And I am here with a 12 week, more than 40 video course on electronics and IoT design workshop. What will be covered in this course? What can you expect from this course? But first of all, what do we expect you to know to make the most of this course? Well, you should be aware of basic analog electronics, digital electronics, a little bit of computer architecture, programming, and most importantly, a willingness to tinker with your hands. If you dig a little deeper and see what is inside an electronic gadget, then you will find that there are three elements, at least three elements. What are these elements? An outer mechanical structure that gives a user interface, uh, protects the internal electronic circuit. The electronic circuit most often uses a microcontroller or an embedded processor and usually cannot function without being appropriately programmed. Besides these three elements, the electronic gadget may also involve additional expertise, for example, medical or agricultural or chemical expertise. This course will introduce you to these three elements so that you understand the basic topology and the elements of such electronic gadgets. Now, we have, what we have done is we have split this course into 12 weeks and in each week we are going to cover one independent topic. And these 12 topics are of course related to each other and together they make uh, this course. In the first week, we are going to have an introduction of basic electronic components such as wires and resistors and capacitors and semiconductor devices. We also have created a six block diagram to help visualize the structure of an electronic gadget. In the second week, we will talk about circuits because these electronic components will be connected together to make circuits. And there are a lot of useful circuits that you need to know. In fact, uh, as I teach this course offline, uh, I came up with a list of useful circuits and we found that there are about 50 such circuits. We call them Nifty 50. In the next week after that, we are going to talk about test and measurement equipment because without test and measurement equipment, you cannot design and debug an electronic gadget. We will cover oscilloscopes, uh, digital multimeters, LCR bridges and so on and so forth. Later on, in a week later, a week after that, we are going to cover microcontroller platforms. There are lots of microcontrollers and microcontrollers are the most common method of signal processing. The inputs that come into the electronic gadget will be processed by this microcontroller. There are a lot of popular microcontroller platforms. We'll cover how to use the uh, Arduino or Raspberry Pi or an ESP32. Later on, what we'll do is we will talk about input and output devices such as switches and keypads and output devices such as LEDs, motors and displays. What you also need is sensors and sensors need signal conditioning circuitry, which we are going to cover in the sixth week. A week after that, we are going to talk about communication protocols. Communication protocols uh, become very important because we are also going to talk about IoT enabled electronic gadgets. 
Then in week 8, we are going to teach you how to capture schematic diagrams using CAD software. From the schematic diagram, how to create a PCB, how to fabricate that PCB, how to solder that PCB. In week 9, we are going to talk about energy sources and power supply circuits because without power supply, no electronic gadget can work. Then in week 10, we are going to talk about mechanical fabrication processes so that you are able to use those processes to build the enclosure for your electronic gadget. We will cover how to use a 3D printer or a CNC machine to CNC milling machine to create such uh, enclosures. Also, we'll show how you can use uh, readily available uh, enclosures to uh, put your electronic gadget in. Then in the 11th week, we are going to talk about project integration. All these elements that we have discussed, we will show how they are put together to create the create an electronic gadget. And in the last week, we are going to cover some sample uh, projects. I'm going to open uh, electronic gadgets that we have uh, designed in my lab and illustrate their operation to you. And of course, we are going to know electronic gadget design is complete without knowing how to document the journey from design to completion. So this is the coverage of the course. I hope and I'm sure that you will benefit a lot uh, if, you, uh, if you follow this course. I am looking forward to coming back with the entire course uh, and I hope you will join me. Thank you very much.